Hello, good afternoon. How are you guys? I hope you are well. Uh, my name is Juan Bautista Propato. Um, I'm doing another session today. I have a really good feedback from coaches from all over the world, especially here in Australia. They like my session. Um, plenty of ideas. Um, remember to keep sharing the session and give me feedback. And we appreciate if you like my channel. Okay, so um, today we're going to start the session. Um, so with a rondo. Um, so this rondo um, is a different rondo than the one before we were talking about. It's um, around the world, so it's pretty much trying to um, create options on the outside of the square with two players in the middle try to win the ball back. You can also um, split the defense and do a, a true ball through the middle. Um, so you can have points um, system for playing around. Two points through the middle, one point. Um, so we really want to for the players to create move to receive. Um, sometimes what's happened with this kind of rondos, the players tend to stay in the position and don't offer any options off the ball or on an option for creating an angle to receive the ball. So we want to see that happen, that kind of behavior. It would be a 5v2 or 6v2, depending on numbers. Um, and the recommendation is to do a FIFA 11 warm up before this. So moving into the next one, it looked like a passing practice. So in this case, um, it's a, a passing a move. So you're not allowed to do um, a straight pass. So they pass in diagonal and they move, pass in diagonal, they move, they move across. Um, going to put it again. Took me a while to, to get it, but it's, it's a really good passing practice. So starting again, pass diagonal, pass it straight, Pass diagonal, pass it right, diagonal, and then the other one. Now it's a slow motion, and the play come in, do a one, two, and pass. So again, um, one more time. So pass it right, one, two, and across, one, two, and then again, across and I want two and across across one two and then move um, it's, it's a good idea and if following up from the rondo the one we did before and um, we passing outside the square and around the wall so it's a follow-up into the that passing practice so moving into the next one Hopefully you can see it's a, it's a positional game where in, in this example, you got a back four plus a keeper against front three, and it's a neutral player in the middle. So potentially it could be a six with three. And then pretty much you want to get it to the top, to the yellow team over there, um, have a similar setup. Could be um, maybe the attacking team, could be the win players, the six and the eight. In this in this example, we have enough players to um, to work more on the defensive shape and moving the ball across. And also, you can use a neutral play in, in the middle. So it's a five v three plus one. So it's, it's a six v three, and same on the other side when the ball come to the top. Um, and yeah, if if you want, if you have any questions, so I'm going too quick you can contact me on social media and I can send you a, a copy of the, the game. So the next one is, uh, this game was created by Marcelo, this animation by Marcelo and Chera Link from Grupo Equipo. Um, also he's working for Villarreal in Spain. Um, and probably you did this one before, it's a 6 v 3 and then switching position to the other side. Sometimes what I don't like potentially that we do as a coaches is to say in this scenario that you need to do a minimum of touches before you switch it into the other side. 
but I like, um, so if, for example, uh, the white player, the blue player, have an option to play forward, what, why do you want that player to make um, another pass, you know? So uh, we need to be realistic and potentially we'll be more working on the three yellows, on the shape, how they win the ball back, and then if the blue can switch to the other side, so they can switch it to the other side. Um, so here again the example, and they switch to the other side, then yellow now got the ball. Um, again, sometimes this game is not that transition from the players, so sometimes what they do is they keep the three players working in the middle. When in this example, you're switching the players in the middle, um, I mean, switching in a way that is a, um, it's a 6v6 split into 6v3 three, by the yellow team win the ball, they pass the ball to the other side, and then three blue players need to go on to the other side. So, um, again, it's, it's a good example of um, that attacking transition to support underneath, and also the defending transition, uh, for example, now, um, to follow up play um, and players moving. If work well, potentially you can go into a 6v4 um, or a 6v5 and only have one player on the other side. Again, it depends on the ability of your players. And here it's a game, okay, if you have in enough, it's a 11 against 10. One have a keeper, the other team have, doesn't have a keeper, and it's about keeping the ball using the center backs in this scenario, blue team with the ball back and receive. So the idea is for the blue team to receive beyond the line, um, so a one-two combination and moving into space. Um, and the red team is, can we play around the players? Can we play through ball and create a scoring opportunity? Um, and the blue team is, if we win it back, looking for that ball behind to hurt the position um, and also making that run like in this example, you know, they're making the run um, by team there, switch, pass, cross, the score, and now blue win the ball back. Um, the restart from the red team, or you can start from the blue. They go there, great run from the full back, and then hurt them underneath. And then um, another variation, if you have uh, less players, could be a starting point from six, a position playing into the keeper, and then they start from the two center backs. So it's a back three plus two, and the attacking midfield against uh, potentially could be like here is a, a center back plus two, plus front three or front four, so it could be a, a one three three. So really important uh, formation. Um, and, and the play task will be, can you get into a position to play forward? Can you get into a position to support? Try a draw player, um, finding the spare player so the player is free to receive. So similar, similar example than before with less players, um, we, we are looking for a similar um, team task. So in this scenario, it's um, into, the, into the midfield area with control possession. If not, can we keep the ball um, and recycle potentially and switch the ball? Um, but it's about that control possession, um, playing wide through the, the players um, and create the scoring opportunities. Okay, guys, so hopefully you enjoy um, this game. Uh, please let me know if you have any feedback. Remember to like my channel. And yeah, take care. Talk to you soon. Have a great season.